one of the target sites. Place the proton core, prime it. Then give the signal, Mandalore. Arming signal received, Mandalore. The proton core is active. We still need to set three more charges. Mandalore, we are holding our position, but the Sith appear to be offering little resistance. It's like they don't even realize we're here. Yeah. <laughs> 
my life for I will end. It is not something. I will end. It is not. I will answer what. I am not familiar with the. I will answer what. My master. There are. Where they be?
life for Underon, my soldiers, my home from me, only to have me die here. He happened. The hunger that fills this vessel. It is power, but it consumes without end. It is that power we felt on Underon that Vaklu felt. It was an echo, too strong to ignore. General Vaklu and I. When it seemed that we would need more to take Onderon, make it strong again, he came with his power, his soldiers. It seemed as if there was nothing we could not do. Nothing the Queen could do to stop us. I have served the wrong master. He cares nothing for Onderon, its soldiers, its people. Everything exists to feed his will. I came here, to this dead ship, and now he will not permit me to leave. This ship, it is a graveyard of a terrible battle. Everything on it slowly dies, as long as he hungers. It is the way of all life that serves him. In his presence, all life dies. This ship is from Malachor. This Sith Lord of yours bolsters his fleet with ships from that world? He's nothing more than a scavenger. I think he is of that place. If so, then his power may be great indeed. Greater than I had thought. The Master suffers. If he cannot feed, then the hunger begins to consume him. The planet, Telos, may feed on something upon its surface to sustain him a while longer. You think to lie to me still? I will not be deceived again. I told him, you know, what the old woman told me. I told him of the Academy here, of the Jedi here. I could not have kept it from him, even if I had wanted to. He means that Jedi witch you travel with, Kreia. Yes, the old woman on Onderon. She spoke of the Jedi Academy here on Telos, and my master was forced to come here. Then her lies will mean the planet's destruction. He will destroy all of Telos. He will turn it to fire again and crush the planet beneath him. He will devour them all, murder them all. If there are no Jedi here, then my lord cannot feed his hunger. He will destroy the planet, the station. He will cleanse it of life. Even if the people below are not Force-sensitive, the small amount he can feed on from the mass destruction of the station and the life on the planet will sustain him a while longer. And if there are no Jedi below, he will have no other choice. Then he will suffer. Without something to sustain him, I do not know what will happen. He will create nothing. He will end this place. Your old woman has killed this planet, and with it, countless other worlds that depend on its survival. You could not stop him even if you wanted to. And you cannot escape either. If the Force runs through you, he will feed on it when Citadel Station dies. Your time, your life, will end here. On the bridge. He waits on the bridge. Waiting for you. No, he does not wait for you. I do not believe he knows his ship has been boarded. 
and if he did, he would not care. The extent of his power cannot be put into words, and his perceptions have grown as well. To him... You are dust motes in a storm, a grain upon the beach, and as insignificant as a body that orbits the graveyard of Malachor. Fight him if you will, but if he turns his power upon you, you will be destroyed. This ship, is it his weakness? It should not exist, yet it cruises the darkness between the stars. He tore it from the mass shadows of Malachor, along with his fleet. That is a measure of his power. <laughs> the ship is barely holding itself together. The structural damage should have destroyed it long ago. He holds it together. And he keeps us all alive. Just enough. Like rot worms within a dying beast. <laughs> More Jedi tricks. No. Not Jedi. Not Jedi at all. If he's so powerful, why hasn't he stopped us then? We've attacked his ship, killed his soldiers, and he's done nothing. It is because he sees planets, stars, not people. To him, the planet below, the station with its teeming life, only that is massive enough to demand his attention. There is nothing to be done except wait. If you go to him, he will destroy you. And your last moments shall be of shadow and pain. There is nothing. Onderon. But there's no longer any need. You are right. As long as he exists, Onderon is in danger. The galaxy is in danger. What would you have me do? Go report to the target site, Colonel. I'll let my men know you're coming. And if you try anything stupid, they'll shoot you dead. I will do as you ask. For Onderon's sake. Such acts have their own strength about them. I had forgotten. Principles of sacrifice and charity. These are things I have not seen in some time. I'm afraid that it will weaken you for what comes. But I have said enough, and you do not need my counsel. Your actions should, as always, be your own. Signal received, Mandalore. Only one proton core remains. What the hell was that? I told you to wait! Mandalore, we have made contact with the enemy, and one of the cores has detonated prematurely. Was it in the target zone? No, Mandalore. 
We have failed you. I offer you my... Do we have another core? No, Mandalore. Even with the other two cores set in the ship, it will not be sufficient to destroy the vessel. We need to find another proton core, or we need to make one. All right, wait for my signal. This isn't over. And don't kill yourself before I tell you. If there is time, I would like to center myself. There is a meditation chamber within my cell that I would visit one last time. Past the surface, there is the Force. Where once there was a world that was strong in the Force, now there is a barren wasteland. It's okay. It's gonna be okay. It has taken time for me to return here. I lost my way, but I've been stronger for the journey. What happens now shall not be done out of hate or revenge, but for the sake of all life. And I ask you finally, to forgive me. This body is a prison no longer.
tug. Arming signal received, Mandalore. The proton core is active. That's the last of them, Mandalore. We can destroy the ship on your command.
This door leads to the bridge and my former master. If you wish to gather your strength, this is the last time. My life for you. I... felt you. I serve my ma- My master was aware of it. There is little my master. You cannot even... I will ask... I'm not, but there, there are many where they... I will ask... It is not a... It was not a thing done with machines or weapons. The force is far more terrible. And it's for everyone that feels the force, strongly, deeply. His power is great, and it comes from hunger. He is a wound in the force, more presence than flesh. And those who feel the force strongly are beacons to his hunger. My people, the Jedi, the last council of the Jedi, came to our world to meet in secret. They hoped that perhaps among our people, they could achieve... They succeeded, but only... And my people died, and the Jedi... They hoped to see the threat that had been stalking them. He cannot deny his hunger. And now that the Jedi are vanishing, I do not know... I do not understand what you mean. They hope to see... I will answer... My master did not... There are many facts where one move... They believe... Forgive me, but before you go, I must ask... Why do you do this? Why do you seek to help me? Teach me? You must not do this. I cannot allow you to weaken yourself for me. So you say, but it is not something I have observed or seen. I remember little of my homeworld before I entered my master's service. It is not as it was. There is little left of such memories. Or the planet itself. It is not a subject which I have... It was not a... For his... And the... For you. I will end. I am not, f but I will. My people once had the power to perceive that sight may manifest itself in many ways. Is there something else? My people once had that sight. My sight has been damaged. What I. My master, when he showed me my world, showed it to me as it is. It hurt. And since that moment, it has been difficult to perceive the force as I once did. But after traveling with you, I feel that perhaps there was a gift in it, hidden beneath the pain. Only when one suffers do certain truths become evident both of the galaxy and of the self. And I feel you are an example of this. My life for you. I will... I'm not, but there... I will... I'm, but there... There are many factions within this. Where one moves, they believe. My there where what they be My life I I s my master is
No, do not harm her. I am the one who has betrayed you. I am the one who should suffer. I will return to you. B please, do not harm her. Do not what you did to me. I beg you. Try. A man, nothing more. You are my master now, and I will follow wherever your path takes you. My path is at an end.
Admiral Onasi wanted to speak with you, ma'am. It's a little beat up, but it's still home. I wasn't able to be here to protect it when the Sith attacked the first time. This time you gave me a second chance. I owe you. I've read your records, how the Jedi sentenced you for doing what you believed. You wandered past the Outer Rim during your exile. I ask you, did you find any trace of Revan? I served with him like you did, and we had to part ways like you did. He said that there were places where he had to walk where I could not go, places where having allies or anyone he cared about would only place them in danger. It's been four years, and I still don't know what happened to him. He told me to stay here to try to keep the Republic strong and that he would return. It was the hardest request I ever had to follow. I don't know, but it was important to him. He said that he believed something had been behind the Mandalorian Wars, that it hadn't been the Mandalorian's choice to attack the Republic. Whatever it was, I think he went off to find it, to fight it. It was near the end of the Jedi Civil War when it seemed like we were going to lose everything. We met on a Republic warship called the Endar Spire. It was being attacked over Terrace, and the Sith had stormed the ship. We saved the Republic. But it was like the war didn't end for him. He would keep remembering things that he'd done, and it kept driving him. And I think he finally remembered something terrible that he'd done during the Mandalorian Wars, and he went to put an end to it. He left a lot of people who cared about him behind. But I think he did it because he thought it was the right thing to do. But whatever he set out to do, I, I don't think he succeeded. And here you return, with his ship, without him. Yes, wherever he went, your ship's been there. If... if you return to that place, if you find some trace of Revan... No. Simply tell him that Admiral Onassi is following his orders. Safe journey, Exile. Did she know? No, she didn't. There are times I fear we shall never know where he left Karth. And I cannot live not knowing the answer. Why he sought to protect us. He asked us to stay to keep the Republic safe. It was important to him. And after meeting the Exile, I'm convinced that there are worse things to lose in the galaxy. It has been some time. You were a fool to return. I spared you once. I will not do so again. 
Why have you returned? Because now I understand why the Exile did what she did. There is much to be done. Thank you.